2024, and you are now tuned in to the IBOC Junior Announcements, brought to you by the amazing scholars at the University of Dreams at IBOC. Let's get to some news that you can use. October. Did you know that the month of October is IBOX anniversary month? That's right, we are celebrating our 34th church anniversary, and throughout this entire month, we're going to be thanking God for the past, the present, and the future of IBOC. And if you want to know everything that's going on during the month of October, make sure that you check out the IBOC link tree. All you have to do is scan the information QR code on your armrest right here in the sanctuary or the QR code on your heartbeat sticker or the QR code on your car decal. And when you do that, you'll be able to see our Month at a Glance program. It's a flip book that gives you everything that's going on this month. You can also click on our latest sermons. You can give an offering anytime on Givelify or Cash App. You can get information about the University of Dreams and you can access our social media pages and our website. It's all right there. So please, ask an usher or a hospitality member for a heartbeat sticker or an iBot car decal and scan that QR code today. We also want you to get ready for the last Sunday of October because we are going to celebrate our church anniversary in a very unique way. Guess what? Guess who? Guess when? Guess where? Okay, no more guesses. This year, IBOC's 34th church anniversary is going to be on the fourth Sunday of of October, okay? The 27th. Guess what? We're going to have the Dear Future Wifey podcast featuring the Terrace Whitfield right here live. Hold on, hold on. No, no that's not all we're going to feature. Uh -oh. We're going to be featuring you and Sister Rush as my guest on the Dear Future Wifey podcast sharing how the inspiring body of Christ church came to be and how this amazing love journey began and how it still thriving to this very day. Guess what? Guess who? Guess, guess where? Uh -huh. Guess where? I guess you're going to have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Rush, how you feel about that? I'm nervous. I guess. <laughs> I guess she's nervous. <laughs> See you October the 27th at 10 a.m. I'm inviting everybody in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex to join me for the Dear Future Wifey podcast live at the Inspiring Body of Christ Church as we celebrate the 34-year anniversary and... This is the first church I ever joined as an adult. Wow. wow. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Hey, Can't wait to see you there. Let's have a cup of laughs. <laughs> you know, a couple. Couple of, no, no. A couple of laughs. No, 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 that, no, no. Okay. Never mind. I'm working on it. not going too far. Okay. The 90 Day Thanksgiving Promise. Today is day 45 of our 90 Day Thanksgiving Promise, and every day God is proving Himself in brand new ways. With the 90 Day Thanksgiving Promise, we're simply making a commitment to consistently give to God whenever we get paid or whenever we get a financial blessing. And we are excited about the new testimonies that are coming in, like this one. Hey family, my name is Brother Wayne. I am a man of God here and a proud member of Inspired Body of Christ Church for two years. God has always given me a sense of purpose and direction in my life, even when I wasn't staying the path. And for that alone is worth a hallelujah and amen. I used to not give. I used to think that um, giving my money to the church um, was pointless, but I then noticed that I was just in bad soil. With just giving a little bit, uh, he was able to work with inside of me, and now I'm a consistent giver. To all the brothers in Lions Den, try to give, try to give as much as possible. Even when times where it's just a little bit, a little bit can be made into a lot. And God is going to give you the means to be able to give. And that 10% is just a small bit of how much the overflow can reward your life. Um, and I just wanted to say that I love you, brothers. I love everyone in this ministry. Thank you, IBOC, for the opportunity to share my blessings with you. And have a blessed day. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We are excited about your testimonies, and we're also excited about the inspiring videos that we get Monday through Saturday from Pastor Rush, but you're only getting these inspiring videos when you sign in. It's free, so scan this QR code and sign up today. 
Vote, vote, vote. iBot family, we are counting down the days to an important election in November. And as of right now, the election is about 23 days away. We want to make sure that everyone who is able to vote gets out to vote. So if you need help with those mail-in absentee ballots, our super duper iBot volunteers will be in the main lobby to help you out. You can fill out the application in just a few minutes. We'll even mail it for you. The last day to apply for an absentee ballot is October the 25th, and the first day for early voting begins on Monday, October the 21st. If you have any questions about voting, please come to the main lobby after service. Medicare information. Last week, Sister Fuller made a live announcement about Medicare's annual enrollment period. And if we have any significant seniors who want more information about medical care or prescription drug costs, you can get some great information by meeting with Sister Fuller in the chapel after service. Shout outs. iBug members are always doing amazing things and today we want to shout out some amazing accomplishments. So shout out to Sister Camp. She is a proud iBug member. She's also the head cross country coach at Lamar High School. Her boys and girls cross country teams will be advancing to regionals for the third straight year. She's a great mom, a great wife, and a great coach. Sister Camp, we are proud of you. I said we all proud of you. Once again, we have to give a shout out to Deacon Carlos Lynn. He is the head coach of the Crowley Eagles. And on Thursday night, his team got another victory, winning 35 to 23. Congratulations, Carlos Lynn. We also want to give a huge shout out to the U of D dads. That's right. The University of Dreams at IBOC has a dads club. And last Friday, we had a Donuts with Dads event that was off the chain. Lots of fun, food, fellowship pictures. Did I mention food? Most importantly, our dads stepped up as positive examples of Christian gentlemen who are making a difference. The presence of the dad is so powerful and so necessary in our community. So people want to think that men are not present or dad is not there. Dads are there. We are around. We are available. We are doing what we need to do. There are dads taking care of business on a daily basis. And it is an honor and it's a privilege to do so. And we give God all the glory for it. And if you are a dad at the U of D, come on, man, what you waiting on? Sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what dads are made of. This was a great day to celebrate men coming together to just love on our staff, our children, and love on each other and just be great. This was so sweet. Thank you, Pastor Rush, and stay tuned for more exciting events from the U of B Dad. And finally! And finally, when service is over, there is so much more to do at IBOC. We have the largest privately owned aquarium in the USA right here in this church. Just head to the main lobby and check out the dive show with our certified divers right after service. Where else does this happen? Nowhere but IBOC. That is your news you can use for this week and all the glory goes to God.